I'm making an old standby, something that my mom made for my father on his birthday. And I always find digging deep in the recipe book for birthdays has a way of making friends feel all that more special. So I start with two and a half cups of flour, and to that I add one of the spark plugs in the cake engine, baking soda, half a teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Sift that. Now the other part of the cake, which is the goop factor. One stick of butter combined with one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Now just let those turn, spin, and cream together get nice and fluffy. That's the real beginning of this birthday cake. All right, now my favorite ingredient to add to cakes for moisture and a really tender texture is yogurt because it also adds that special tangy flavor that's really gonna bring out the lemon and the chocolatey frosting. So I just measure out a cup of whole milk yogurt and I drop that right in here with the butter and the sugar. And now just give it a little whisk to add that yogurt in there. And then three eggs, which I add one by one. I have all my wet ingredients together. Time to add that dry. Gentle whisk just to get those dry ingredients in there. Now, what about a little flavor in there? I think a little lemon with chocolate is a surprising combination, and it goes really well together in my opinion. So, I'll start with a little bit of lemon zest. Just a few grates, about a tablespoon of lemon juice, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla to round that out. Okay. Just mix it enough to integrate the vanilla and the lemon. Put that cake batter right in that pan, looks so good. Just spread so the batter goes to the four corners. Give it a little shake just to level it off for good luck and pop it in the oven. So I'm gonna put that in an oven that I preheated at 350 degrees and bake it for about 40 minutes. When you make a cake, automatically you're already thinking about the frosting. And for me that starts by making a very chefy but very simple ganache, which is simply a combination of one and a half cups of cream and just heat that gently over a low heat. Now that gives me just enough time to measure out one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. We're gonna add extra gloss and sweetness and a wonderful texture by making a little something extra for that frosting. So I'll take one stick of butter that I cubed up into small pieces. To that, I'm gonna add one cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of almond extract. I love the smell of that. And you'll see after less than a minute that it'll just come together into a wonderful buttery, sugary, almondy, perfumey paste. So I have my cream, one and a half cups simmering, and I'm just gonna pour that right over the one and a half cups of semi-sweet chips. I swear you can smell the chocolate chips melting. Give it a little stir. It's not gonna take much to melt those chips and come together into chocolatey goodness. You could just use this, or you could go birthday on everybody and get crazy by adding this mixture of powdered sugar, butter, and almond extract. It's a birthday, for God's sakes. Let her rip. So you just stir gently, and it'll melt right in. And you can see this has a wonderful gloss to it. And don't think I won't dunk cake scraps in here later. And of course, how can you make a frosting without just giving it a little taste test? Mm. Now, I want to create something that's going to add extra moisture to the layers of my cake. So I'll take a half a cup of water and I'll mix it with a quarter cup of sugar. Granulated is fine. Put the heat on, nice and easy. I'll add the rest of that zest and the rest of the juice. Now I also want to add a hint of spice. So I'll take a whole clove of nutmeg, just a tiny grate, because a little really goes a long way. 
And this will be a little syrup. I will just brush this syrup over that cake to add that extra bit of moisture and lemony flavor. Now, what about that cake? Because let's face it, it's the cake we're really worried about. So it's only when you do something from your childhood and you make it again that you remember those little touches. The best way to tell if this cake is cooked is because it will start to pull away from the sides. So that's a direct visual indicator that the cake is done. But the old cake tester test works nicely too. Right in the middle and it comes out with just that little crumb on top. So I'll just put this aside in the back and let it cool down a little. Give it time to rest. I'll just take some of this syrup and just paint this right on top of the cake. This is the syrup made with the sugar water, lemon zest, little lemon juice. This is gonna add a really nice moist touch to the cake. The other thing I love to do is add a little bit of the syrup right into the frosting. And that really has the lemon flavor spill over into the frosting a little bit. And then I frost. Pour the frosting towards the center and gently just kind of coax it around. Look at that, come on. And I kind of like the way it overlaps on the plate. Every time you pull a slice of the cake away, you're just gonna drag all that frosting with you. That's good stuff. 